It was the year 1948, and the world was still recovering from the devastating effects of World War II. The state of Israel had just been declared, but little did they know that this declaration would spark one of the longest and most complicated conflicts in history, the Israel and Palestine War. The roots of this war can be traced back to thousands of years ago, to a time when both Jews and Arabs lived in harmony in the land of Palestine. The land was known as Canaan then, and it was a place of great significance to both communities. But as time passed, the Jews were forced into exile by the Babylonians, and the Arabs took control of the land. In 19th century, the world saw a rise in Zionism, a movement that called for the establishment of a Jewish state in Palestine. This movement gained momentum in the early 20th century, when Jews from all over the world started migrating to Palestine, seeking refuge from the persecution they faced in Europe. As the number of Jews in Palestine increased, so did the tension between the Jewish and Arab communities. The Arabs feared that they would lose their land to the Jews, and this fear soon turned into resentment and hostility. The British, who were in control of Palestine at the time, tried to mediate between the two communities, but their efforts were in vain. In 1947, the United Nations proposed a partition plan that would divide Palestine into two states, one for the Jews and one for the Arabs. The Jews accepted this plan, but the Arabs rejected it, as they believed that it favored the Jews. This rejection led to the First Arab-Israeli War, which lasted for over a year and resulted in the establishment of the State of Israel. The Palestinians, who had been living in Palestine for centuries, were forced to flee their homes and became refugees in neighboring Arab countries. This event, known as the Nakba, or catastrophe, in Arabic, is still deeply ingrained in the Palestinian collective memory and is seen as the root cause of the ongoing conflict. From a historical perspective, the cause of the Israel and Palestine War can be attributed to the clash of nationalistic and religious identities, as well as the struggle for land and resources. But this conflict also has a spiritual aspect, as both the Bible and the Koran hold significant importance in the lives of the people involved. To understand the Quranic and Hadith's perspective on this conflict, we must first look at the significance of Palestine in Islamic history. According to the Koran, Prophet Ibrahim, Abraham, built the Kaaba in Mecca, but it was his son, Ismail, Ishmael, who settled in Palestine and established the city of Hebron. This makes Palestine a holy land for Muslims, and the city of Jerusalem holds a special place in their faith. Moreover, in Islamic tradition, Jerusalem is believed to be the place where Prophet Muhammad ascended to heaven during the night journey. This event is commemorated in the famous Al-Aqsa Mosque, which is the third holiest site in Islam. The Quran also mentions the Prophet Daud, David, and his son Suleiman, Solomon, who are revered as prophets in both Judaism and Islam. According to the Quran, Suleiman was given the power to control the wind and the jinn, and he built the first temple in Jerusalem, known as the Temple of Solomon. These historical and religious ties to Palestine make it a sacred land for Muslims, and any threat to the land is seen as a threat to their faith. This is why the establishment of the State of Israel and the displacement of Palestinians is a highly sensitive issue for Muslims all over the world. In addition to the Quran, the Hadiths, or sayings of Prophet Muhammad, also shed light on the Israel and Palestine conflict. One hadith, in particular, narrated by Abu Said al-Qudri, states that the Prophet said, the day of judgment will not come until the Muslims fight the Jews and kill them, and until the Jews hide behind the rocks and trees, and the rocks and trees will say, O Muslim, O servant of Allah, there is a Jew behind me, come and kill him. This hadith is often used by extremist groups to justify their violent actions towards Jews in the state of Israel. However, it is important to note that this hadith, along with many others, that mention the conflict between Muslims and Jews, should be understood in their historical context and not as a call to violence. Islam preaches peace and coexistence, and the Quran mentions that the land of Palestine belongs to both Jews and Arabs. In conclusion, the Israel and Palestine war has its roots in a complex mix of historical, political, and religious factors. The conflict has caused immeasurable suffering to both sides, and it seems like a solution is still far out of reach. But as long as both communities hold on to their religious beliefs and refuse to compromise, this conflict will continue to be a never-ending cycle of violence and bloodshed.